for me, this is amazing. I feel like I was playing, this is like, I never played in front of people either. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, it's, it, it, it was cool. The guys were really happy. Some of the guys already left because they had to do some stuff, but sure. the guys were really happy to be, uh, to be around you at the end of the day. Yeah, uh, no, you, 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 you are, you know, a living legend, like they say. No. Yes, you are. You know, you're going to play it down, obviously, because you, you're humble, but... I'm working on it, though. It should be. Well, but you, you, you that's what I said, living legend. You're still, <laughs> you're still, you're still doing it. No, it's, it, it was good. I was actually impressed. I saw you, like, coming out of, uh, like, uh, like you're trying to get a pole position the way you started the game. <laughs> <laughs> you were running everywhere. I'm like, whoa, wait, hang on a minute. I'm still not awake. <laughs> um, no, but it was nice. It was nice because I don't do that often, to okay. be fair. I don't, because usually when I play, I need to have a, Football. Mm -hmm. I want to play. I want to play to win. Sure. That's what I mean. So it's always like that competitiveness, and I know you have that. And I saw that straight away uh, <laughs> today. By the way, I had no doubt about that because you already beat me in, in another <laughs> thing that we won't, we won't mention too much. Years ago, we should we should mention it because <laughs> you won today. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it was cool of all. You know, I, like you said, I think it would be a nice thing if we can do do it maybe like a kind of a charity event. Yeah, as I was saying, the, the yearly yearly event that could be. It could be quite be, neat. It can, it can be cool, it can be cool. But I had fun. I had so I had much fun, fun man. And to see you, see your skill, man, it was... No, I watch you on TV, and it's so natural for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> that wasn't... <laughs> I don't even know. Like, you can tell I retired. No, you can tell. no. Oh, you, you can know, tell you... So Campbell retired, by the way. Yes. <laughs> so, we can tell. Definitely. And Robert also. Robert? Oh, something funny. When was the last time you, you saw Robert Pires on the football field? He was playing for Arsenal, right? Yes, yes. Exactly. Long, long time ago. Told you, Robert, you retired when you left Arsenal. Yeah. You just don't know it. Anyway. I didn't see him. I, honestly, I didn't see him afterwards. That. Same. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I always explain to people that, uh, and I said that just before, and when I do something, it's to win. You know, and if, 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 if my mind is not in it, then, then you're going to look at me and go like, was he really a football player? Mm -hmm. You know, if, if, I, if I'm not... It's like a, 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 a boxer, when he goes on, uh, in the ring, if you don't go there to kill, you might as well not go. You don't go and box for fun. Yeah, absolutely. And I know it's not the same thing because there, obviously, if you don't go like that, you're going to get knocked out. Mm -hmm. But it's the same in football. You go, same or mentality. anything that you do, if you go, someone's going to knock you out if you're not ready. And, and um, so that's why it's, I, I see, if I can say myself, uh, in Lewis, because he, he wants to win everything, everything that he does. It's not so much about what he wins and, and how he is. I respect any athlete that stays at the top of his game for a long time. You can have a good year, you can have six good months, you can have maybe two good years, but to do it every single time, when people want to bring you down and they want your head, they want, they want everything of you and you're still competing and you're still that guy for a very long time. For me, that has no price. I respect, mm. I respect everyone, but I'm just saying I respect a hell of a lot more an athlete that stays at the top of his game for, for, for more than 10 years. Around that. When you do that, I can say, yeah, man, you, 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 you have done something good because surprising people is the most, I would say, is the easiest thing, obviously, if you have talent. But to keep on surprising people when they are waiting for you, Mm. and know exactly what you're about to do and you still do it and you're looking at them and you're like you knew i was going to do that i did it and i succeeded yeah. it's it's annoying for the guy that you play against and there's no nothing sure. more you know when you play when i used to play and people knew exactly what i was doing i used to cut back inside the goalkeeper knew i was going to curve that ball out mm. every single time mm. and i used to love when they come after the game and they used to say to me i knew you were going to do that and i still couldn't stop it <laughs> i was like oh. yeah, <laughs> you know you, you kind of like point. you kind of like okay you knew it, but you, you, you couldn't stop it. Yeah. Same, same with in training, you know that's I'm sure. A, that's the same for me when I'm driving and I'm, drivers expect me to do, do one yes. thing. And so, because they expect one thing, they anticipate that I'll do something different. Yeah, I do the same thing and they fall for it. Yeah, so I, I, I can... But I, I, love the, I love the... You would understand that, that. Some stuff that you... It's more difficult for you guys because you, it's difficult. To, you in your car, he's in his car, you can talk to each other. Mm. But on the field, you can talk to the guy. Yeah, yeah. So when sometimes you say I'm gonna go this way, and he goes like, oh, I will go this way, 
and then you still go this way. And you told him. <laughs> and he thinks you're going the other way. No, no, sometimes I would say, I will go this way, I swear I will go this okay. way. And you still, you still pass him that way, it's amazing. Okay. It's amazing because the guy looks at you like, damn, he told me. He told me and, and I still <laughs> didn't stop him. That, that, that little thing. But yeah, staying at the top of your game for me, massive respect mm. for a long time. It's, it, it is more than amazing for me. It's, it's having that mentality. I think we share that same mentality, you know, when you want to be the best. Um, it's kind of, you have to go out there and it's kind of do or die. You know, you, you go 100% each time and if your heart's not in it, then you, you might as well not be there. And I was very, very lucky I had that support as Thierry did when he was younger. And for me, it was about grabbing the opportunity with both hands. And fortunately, I had, I had a, a good upbringing. I had my dad who was there with me to make sure that if I ever slipped that out, you know, he would kind of, or if I lost my balance, he would put me back up. And um, I'm sure you had yeah, that yeah, support, yeah, that's you know, that's you can't do it without family that and that. But, um, you know, you sometimes people need that, that bit of help. But I, I, I generally feel that nowadays people kind of just don't want to do that work that they just want to be at the top without having to do the, some of the groundwork, mm -hmm. some people. And um, I know for one that groundwork helped me create the foundation of which I'm able to perform today. And. There's something also that people don't take in consideration sometimes. You've been prepared. Yeah. Uh, and the same, we're not going to go back about the preparation and how your dad was and how mine was, or, yeah. or how Arsene was with me early and, 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 and your mentor uh, with you early. But then at one point, it's like, okay, you're alone now. What are you going to do? You know, dad is not there anymore. And you have to give the, the, the athlete a lot of credit because you don't. Uh, uh, teach, you can't teach an athlete, an athlete, sorry, uh, uh, when he's young, you can't teach him to fail, right? You have to deal with that while, while you're failing. So the preparation is for that. Because he, ha he has that in him, I have that in me, but how are you going to cope with when you're about, to, when you will fail? And it's difficult to prepare that. You can't prepare a guy to be a killer and talk to him about failure or prepare him to fail. So that, that's the thing sometimes is a bit tricky when you're young and you were kind of the guy and then suddenly you arrive in some places where you're not the guy anymore and suddenly, well, hang on a minute, I wasn't used to that. Mm. Oh, I failed. How do you respond to that? And that's, 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 you're going to have your people around and he knows that. You're going to have your people around. You're going to have people phoning me, texting you. Hey, man, but at one point you are alone. How are you going to cope with that when you are alone? How are you going to cope with that when you when you're in your car alone and you have to pass someone in a difficult situation and 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 you failed before and you have to do it again same with me you know people can talk or not but at a certain moment in the game when when you are alone 80,000 people or whatever it is you are alone and, and it's not easy to to cope and deal with failure and it's, it's a thing, something that uh, uh, um, sometimes you have those guys trying to talk to you uh, those motivators and stuff like that, but if you don't, if you don't, or you didn't encounter failure, uh, especially when we fail, everybody knows about it. It's not like the, it's not like my, my neighbor knows it, yeah. or the guy or the butcher on the side of uh, uh, in the corner of the street. When he fails, everybody knows it. And when you go out the day after, and you see people in the street, I remember the first time I, I missed a penalty or I missed a goal, and or we don't win a big game and you're kind of paranoid because you you're looking at people looking at you and you're like are they talking about me are they talking about the goal i missed yesterday surely they must be because i would have been killing that guy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you're kind of like this and that's the part i have to say that also comes in although you've been prepared ever so well mm. but to deal with the failure and how you react is something that you have to develop yourself and and obviously preparation does help for that but Everyone comes up with their own way of method of still, dealing with yeah. it, you know. Some are better than others. I know for me, I was really, uh, when I, in my younger early days in my career, I would struggle so much when I'd have that failure day. It would take me days to get past it. I was so, so stubborn and so, um, I would really go inside and stay kind of in the shell. I wouldn't let anyone talk to me. I was, nowadays I'm kind of, I'm over it, you know. Next yeah. day, I know I can come back the next day and repeat it or if you, you know, get and you know my younger brother was always a real good uh inspiration for me mm -hmm. my, my brother is disabled and seeing you know seven years younger than me but he he found it hard he, you know it's hard for him to walk and he'd fall over we'd play in basketball or football whatever it was and it was easy for me and he would fall over and he would get straight back up he would never ever 
change his mentality. And I, I always kind of looked at that as an, you know, as his older brother, and thinking that's that's something I can take into to into what I into, how do I translate that into what I do? You know, when I fall, get back up, never give up, and, and that's really something that that we all have to have. We know that we have to stay positive. Yeah, you can't. It's the name just, of the game. You have to. Although it, can, it might have been the worst uh, race that you've ever done, mm. you're always going to try to find the thing that's going to make you say. Yeah. Wait, hang on a minute. You have it's to find the positive. To. It's turning negatives into positives, but isn't it? There is, a, there is always a thing that I used to say, even though I scored a hat trick the game before or, or whatever happened the game before, there's always a next game. Yeah. So that was always my way. Whether I, li I lifted the cup or not, I was always thinking there's always a next game. Yeah. There's always a next game. Always looking game. forward. And people are waiting for you to perform. No mm -hmm. matter what you did before, you could have, you could have been great or bad, yeah. you always have to perform. And that positive thing was always uh, uh, the key for me. But mm. at the same time, I was always mixing it when I was at home. And I'm sure you're the same on, on the stuff that I haven't, haven't done well also, mm. a tiny bit, because that was always keeping me on my toes. You, you always, what, what I mean? do you mean? You always looking, like, 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 yeah, you yeah, always I, watching? It, like, no, not, I knew, for, I, I'm sure. You knew like, what you did. People were like, did you watch the game yesterday? And I was like, I don't need to watch the game. You know what, you what do you mean? So I remember everything I that it. I've done in it's like, yeah. And guys are like, no, I need to watch the game. I'm like, you need to watch the game to anyway. So the same I always knew what, I, what, I, what I've done. I, you know what to what, do to correct it. And I knew, but I needed to obviously replay it in my head. Okay. But what I'm saying to you, I was always the type of guy going home mm. after a game, succeeding or not. And obviously not succeeding was a bit, a bit more, as you can imagine. Mm. But I was always thinking, of, what can I do better next? Even though I scored three goals, or even though we won five nil, I said we should have won six nil. Mm -hmm. but I was always that type of guy. Yeah, yeah. And always, always. But well, that's the same for me, you know. Yeah, that's, you know yeah. I win a race, and I'd be. Mm -hmm. People don't happy, that. Whilst you're happy, you're like, well, there's a moment I lost a second here. I could have done better on my entry of the pit lane. I could have done better in my pit stop. I could have done better in the start. I could have ever taken better here, I, I, or whatever it may be. I always said to people because when I was playing, I always had a face on. That was me. I was always had a face on, and people were like, mm, he's moody, he's, you know. And I always said, I'm, I'm very happy, but never satisfied. Mm. It's a different story. Yeah, yeah. And when you catch me after a game, took a shower or whatever, I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking about the stuff that I didn't do that mm. I could have done better mm. to help a teammate or to, to obviously help my team or, or individually have a better game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was always thinking about that. But you guys he, had a second to have a shower. We don't even get that, man. He, <laughs> We're like straight in front of the cameras and he, your heart's still yeah. kind of racing, you know? And, and sometimes it comes across as you're not happy that you won't. Yeah. I was very happy, but I wasn't satisfied. Yeah. With or if you, if you don't succeed, it sometimes can come across badly. Oh, yeah. That's because, for sure. you know, you, yeah. even if you wear your heart on your sleeve, people take that for granted, you yeah. know? They will. I mean, they none will. of us like that. I, I hate losing. Do you hate losing? Oh. I didn't like losing today. I'd, I always <laughs> say, no, it's kind of weird. Like, people, when people say, oh, be, be a, a nice loser, it's not such a thing. What is that? I don't know. When I hear that, oh, he's a, he's a gentleman when, lose, when he loses, I'm like, I mean, oh. what? I've never, I mean, never like, ne nothing that that's say that you have to be a gentleman like that, when you lose. It's never going to be a champion, I think, personally. So how do you think, uh, how do you feel, sorry, about uh, going to Monaco? After feel, last year and, 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 and what happened be, last week? I mean, honest, I know, I mean. Yeah, yeah, but to be honest, I feel, I feel really good about going to Monaco. Obviously, I feel better prepared than I did. No, and I'm, I'm aware of the possibilities. I'm aware of, of uh, what can and cannot happen. And, and uh, I know that I need to be better prepared than ever. I mean, last year I wasn't best prepared for the weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, so I've had the I've had a good car for the last two years, and I didn't capitalize on it. So, you know, I'm going in toward, towards it, thinking third time lucky. This is the this is one I've got to you know going to meet my engineers tomorrow. I'm going to be studying my, my previous stuff just to make sure I've, I've not left any stone unturned. And you know, I live there now, so I'm going to be there from I think Wednesday this week. And I'm just going to be on the time zone, get my training in, you know, probably run around the circuit a few times. It's an amazing race. I, I, I lived there for, for six years and, uh, you know, I always, I was always amazed to see how many time cars don't finish the, way, the race yeah. there and how difficult it is yeah. to, to overtake someone. It, uh, it's, it's impossible. 
it's, it's pretty much impossible unless you've got a car that's I mean, we were just at a track that was very open and people couldn't really overtake. So but this is a track that's, there's, by the time you get to full throttle, you're breaking for the next corner. The, the only guy that has, I mean, and, and, and he, he's not with us anymore, but Ayrton Senna was, yeah. sometimes I'm watching him and I'm yeah, like, he's and, and, I, and I'm like, well, really? Mm -hmm. And I could, obviously I'm not, I don't know uh, your sport like that, you sure. know, to be technical about it. Yeah. But uh, I remember the guys commentating were like, He's crazy. Yeah, he did some things that people like, were not expecting. Yeah, and I was like, oh, really? You know, because I, I don't know. I, I'm listening. But in Monaco, you could see a bit better that, yeah. that, he, that he's the only one that I... No, not the was, only one, but I saw rarely guys trying to do some, some, mm. some crazy stuff. Crazy no, stuff. He, he, was a, he was a hell of a driver. He was an incredible driver. For me, he was my favorite driver. Yeah? But obviously, you got Fangio that was back way back, and he was crazy because he had no seat belts in that. Those cars back then. And you know he was amazing. He was always battling against uh, Alain Prost, so obviously. Ayrton was, yeah. Prost being French. Yeah. I had to go with the French guy. Yeah. But uh, everybody had uh, always a soft. Uh, but you spot know what? For, for Ayrton Senna. They did because, well, he was. He was arguably quite. A, he was better, you know, and he was, all round, people pref people just. Yeah, because he was to him in a certain way, and it's the same. I well, it's not the same, but I see. I see Alan, he, he was an, an amazing world champion. But there was just, you know, they both had their, their championships, but there was just a certain way in which Ayrton did it, I think, that as a kid watching, was quite unique. But for one, so much different nowadays, it's so much more technical, mm -hmm. so much more electronics on the car, it's, it's, it's a different animal. But still, Monaco, is, it's all about precision, but you have to have a good car, you've got to qualify pole. If you don't qualify pole, or you don't capitalize, you know, the tires, it, they'd make it a one stop so then you don't have opportunities to, to jump the person to use strategy you can't overtake on the track with a car that's two tenths that's that, slower that, than you so it's like that's another thing how, like sometimes how, not how mad do you get but you know sometimes when you lose you lose time or they, they don't change the tires quickly enough mm. or, or whatever and you know you're in your car and you're like mm. yeah well you know what it's like it's like um and it would probably be the same for them they're probably like who spent the whole weekend preparing the car <laughs> We've done everything to time. The pit stops were the best, yet the driver lost this amount of time on the track. And when you're driving, you're like, I just did, I drove my heart out. I just gained those half a second, you know, and those tenths of a second here and there. And you get to the pit stop and you lose it. And you're like, oh my God, but you have to keep moving forward. You, yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. you can't let that hold you back. So you're like, you know what? I've got to catch that second or whatever it is so you what's, lost. So what's the talk after? Like, do you guys, oh, do we get, no, not you, but the guys, the guys working on the car, do they get fined? Do they get, no. In trouble? No, not at all. No? That's not a way, is it? I guess. I no, no, no. no. When I said that, when I said, not in a bad way, but you know, sure. for example, if you, if you don't do what, what you need to do in the game, sometimes the boss will let you know, and sometimes sometime sure. it will be nice with it, and sometimes well, you, you don't do, want to be in the dressing think, room. I think what they, yeah. Well, I mean, it's very rare that my guys step yeah. up through I'm not being prepared. It's usually something's happened or you know maybe i've gone long or the gun like for example the other day i lost like three seconds and stopped because the gun the the bolt uh cross-threaded so they had to change the gun oh. change the bolt which took forever but you know he did it really fast he was really Still, quick he did on that the point. Well. he yeah. did it really well yeah. which people won't see it on tv they probably just think we lost a lot of time so um no but naturally it's about lifting those guys up you know when i go when i see it i'm like hey don't worry about it man there's you know how many stops they've, they've practiced, practice, practice. But when on when you're in front of God knows how many people that are watching, when the pressure's oh, on, know. it's so easy to, 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 to just to drop it for a split second, or you know, something else comes in the way. But in actual fact, he did such an amazing job to quickly just quickly change. Exactly. I could have lost way much, a lot more time. He did well. Or he could have let me go, and I could have been down the pit lane with one with three wheels, you know. So uh, how how is it with uh, with finding the right balance? <laughs> If I can say that with uh, with your teammate, knowing fully that, as you said before, uh, when we were talking before, that you have two championships. Mm. So you have obviously an individual one and you yeah. have the, 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 the team one. And, and obviously by winning the team one, you need the both, the both uh, sorry, uh, drivers to to be good. But at the same time, you want to win the individual <laughs> one. And, yeah. and, and it's a hard one. I mean, in the game, you, you, you have to be that individual guy within within the collective and, and, and it's not an easy one. I just wanted to know 
how do you guys cope with it in the, in the Formula One? It's it's I've, it's very difficult because you're constantly um, you're constantly uh, is, it, is it not contradicted? You kind of um, well you're up yeah because you got the two the two championships that you're fighting for, but you're your teammates yet you're individual. You're also individual competitors, um, and so you're constantly fighting up against something. Um, you know, naturally you want the, you know, naturally you want to, I think growing up I was always just on my own. I was like, I want to, I want to win, whilst I'll get all the, I'll get my points for the team and the other dude has to do his job. And if he doesn't, that's not my problem. And naturally that is the case. It's not my problem at the end of the day. As I said um, earlier on this year, you know, it's not, it's, that's not, I don't get paid to mm. lift the other dude up whilst when we we are practicing we are pushing each other each time but naturally he has to be on, on point and on, on form and, and i do that's what we get paid to do but so you in one in one sense you want the guy to come second to get the points for the team mm. so that we do win the constructors but then also that you're conflicted because you sometimes you want the ferrari guy or someone else to take points away from that guy so it makes it doesn't make it so close so you're constantly yeah. you're constantly you know conflicted because you want to be a team a team player but also you want to win it is very, very, very hard. But um, I think ultimately, you know, I've got a lot older and now I'm in a place where I feel like there's an opportunity to be a team leader, a leader, be a leader. And I think when I was younger, it was just, you know, me, 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 I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. And now it's kind of like team, you know, if, if I want to earn the spot of being team leader, leading this great big team of over a thousand people, I've sometimes, there's a certain way that I have to conduct myself and whilst I want to win deep down inside every single race for example we just I finished second the other day but I'm like you know what I got I make sure the team got a one too so and that's what's most important you did your job here for the team it's, it's not an easy one because in, in football it's kind of different but I will bring into the maybe me battling with another striker to start mm. so basically you know you start but you know that guy also on the bench might have might have to change the game by, by him coming on. Mm. Or maybe I get injured and he has to play the last five games that we need to win. Sure. So you always need to give him a lift, give him a lot of advice. But you also, at one point, if you give him too much of it, you, 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 you might be that guy on the bench. Sure. And sometimes you will find out that once, once that guy plays, then he doesn't look at you anymore. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's where maybe there is a in bracket a similarity because it's totally different, I guess. Um, but it's, it, people do not understand that. It's you need to to be nice with, the, with, with, with him, mm. but yet you need to show him you will never play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> it's that, exactly. It's that thing. I will help you. Exactly. But you will never play. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of. Exactly. But it's a weird one. It it's is. a weird one to. But the, for you know, for, for for us, the difficult thing in Form One is that imagine like imagine in Form One, sorry, in football they had heart rate monitors and, and mm. they recorded your every move, your techniques, your, you know, all your vibrations, all these different things. So you didn't have to have to tell him. He could just go back in the room. And oh, he's doing this. He's, he's yeah. spinning the ball this way. He's, mm. you know, he's doing this, doing that. So all of your talents are on display. And that's the, the sometimes the worst thing about Form 1 because we, they can, he can see everything I do. It's, it's, it's more technical with you. I, I, that is true. Mm. We have that a bit now. I, I mean, when I when I stopped my career, when I started it, it wasn't the same thing. Now we have to put something here. Everything is measured. Yeah, yeah. Everything is this. But there was one thing that will always save the guy or you is the way you drive. Yeah, yeah. That's my point. Like, I, for example, I was fast and I, and I had a bit of skills to get away some time of stuff that was happening on the field. And, and sometimes I couldn't hit the ball like, uh, like some other guys, you That's know. Right. So, so we all have our, our stuff that will make the difference sometime mm. in the game, but yeah, no, I mean, in, in Formula One, is it's way more specific. So yeah, he can say, yeah, he put it at that level for that. He turned always at that time. Yeah, yeah. So he can copy that. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it makes it a little bit harder to bring. Yeah, 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 yeah. But naturally, I still, that, that difference you have in your heart and your ability still can come through, even if it's diminished a little bit because of that. Yeah. The, Thank you so much. See you for soon on the down. field. Yes, sir. Not on the. No, I won't go on the track. We need a rematch. I won't go on the track, though. <laughs> I won't do it. No, that's too dangerous for me. Uh. I'm soft. <laughs> <laughs>